It is my pleasure to welcome you to Mercy College's uh, Black History Month community reception and celebration. Clap for that. <laughs> we are measuring our success, especially in Black History Month, by asking the question, not how many people are getting into Mercy College, how many black students, but how many of them are graduating with a degree. And I'm happy to tell you that Mercy, in terms of private colleges in this country of ours, ranks fourth, fourth in the nation for graduating black We need, as we go forward, to look at the leaders in the community who have moved forward over the decades and whose shoulders all of you, I'm looking at the students and the recent alums, um, will be standing on. My refusal to turn and run was a testament to the power of perseverance that was instilled by my mother. She taught me from a child, girl, get some grit in your crawl. <laughs> Don't be a quitter. Once you start a race, run on and see what the end's gonna be. <laughs> I stayed in the race, and my tenure as SNR Dean began June 1st, 1982. Broken glass ceilings often lead blacks and women across terrains that are strewn with jagged edge, just that cut. This was certainly true of my rise as the first African-American dean at CNR and the first female dean of the School of New Resources. Diversity, equity, and inclusion goes beyond just the coined term that's widely used these days. It's about action. The taking of intentional steps for the betterment of people. Knowing the value of this kind of support and the difference it makes in the life of a student I am glad to be part of an institution that has taken action to level the playing field and to celebrate the rising achievements of the next generation of students of color. Mercy College has elevated me and allowed me to accomplish what I never thought, I, what, what I never thought was possible. On September 22nd, that was the first day I stepped here on Mercy College, 2018. Uh, if you had told me that I would be pursuing my master's in cybersecurity, I would turn to you and say that is impossible. All right. <laughs> Uh, there's a saying that uh, if uh, you hang around the barber shop, sooner or later you're going to get a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> well, my haircut has been my leadership roles here at Mercy College.